everyone. This video will show you like how to use the Ripple VNA to measure the cable length. So if you can view from here the distance, okay. So the cable distance is around like 1.03 or 1.05, okay. And here will be the marker is like one here, and it show like 10 nanosecond. Okay, that means at this point the time is 10.0825 nanosecond. And I will show you like how to use the Ripple VNA to measure like time domain. So we can also like choose like assist and then time. Okay. So when we click on time, then okay. So we can adjust the time is like 30 nanosecond. And here will be like 5 nanosecond. Okay. So we can view from here the time is around like 10.0825 nanosecond okay so how to do this i will show you the setting for the ripple vna okay first let's say we close this and we open a new gui okay so the software will like this and we can just um, double click on this and close all of this like s21 and s21 just right click assist as setup then you choose time domain and you can choose like impedance here okay for the y axis then click ok but you can view like here is like nothing is popped out because our s one here is only for frequency domain so for time domain you need to click on edit here click on like plus tdr time domain then click ok then choose low pass and auto window you can choose like hemming just click ok then for our velocity factor is for my cable is like 0 0.690 okay i will spend in calculation later so just click on ok then still haven't bought anything because we haven't choose like the S11 so you just right click and then choose S11 then you can view the port here and for the assist right you need to click auto or you can choose it manually okay so we can set it manually like 100 here will be like 0 and 10 okay so for the time here we can set like 30 nanosecond okay because roughly we know that for one meter cable is like 10 nanosecond so here will be like uh, we can say like 5 nanosecond so click ok then you will roughly get something like this okay and then we can right click here the marker and you, you can view the marker is here and then it's like 10.0825 if you want to delete the marker you can just click on here and click delete here okay next I also can show you like if you want to change to like view in meter, you can just go to axis here, change to distance. Okay, so we can direct measure the cable distance. Okay, how long is the cable? Then just click OK. And we can view from here, it's like because it's 30 nanometer, so it's too short. That's why you can see it's a flat line here. So we just right click, choose the axis. We can set it like we can say like three meter, and here will be like um, zero point five meter. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Three and zero point five. Okay. Then you can see it's like view from here is like zero meter until three meter, and our drop point will be like that be like 1.04, 1.03 or 1.05 meter of the cable length then I will show you the calculation how we're going to get this value okay yeah so this is how we can calculate the coaxial cable length using the time domain okay thank you guys